glories to Srila A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai. All glories to Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Madhya Lila, Chapter 13, Text 69. Ei mata hai la krishnera rate arohana Tara age prabhu na chaila bhakta gana Thus Lord Jagannath mounted his car and Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inspired all his devotees to dance in front of it. 70 Age suna jagana tera gundi chagamana Tara age prabhu yaiche kari la nartana. Now, please hear about Lord Jagannath's going to the Gundicha temple while Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced before the Ratha car. 71. Ei mata kirtana prabhu kari la katachana. Apana udyo ge nachila bhaktagana. The Lord performed uh, kirtan for some time and through his own endeavor inspired all the devotees to dance. 72. Apani nachite yabe prabhura manahaila satasam pradayatabe. When the Lord Himself wanted to dance, all seven groups combined together. 73. Srivasara Mai Ragu Govinda Mukunda Haridasa Govinda Nanda Madhava Govinda. All the Lord's devotees, including Srivas, Ramai, Ragu, Govinda, Mukunda, Haridas, Govinda Nandana, Madhava, Govinda, all combined together. 74. Udanda Nurtye Prabhura Yaibe Hai Lamana Swarupera Sange Dila when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu desired to jump high while dancing, he placed these nine people in the charge of Sarup Damodar. 75. Ei dasa jhana prabhura sange ghaya daya arasa basam pradaya chari dike gaya. These devotees, Sarup Damodar, and the devotees in his charge sang along with the Lord, and they also ran beside him. All the other groups of men also sang. 76. Dandavatkari Prabhu Yuridu Ihata Urdhava Mukestuti Kari Deki Jaganata. Offering obeisances to the Lord with folded hands. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu raised his face toward Jagannath and prayed as follows. 77. Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Go Brahmana Hitaya Cha. Jagat Krishnaya. Govindaya Namo Namaha. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto Lord Krishna, who is the worshipable deity for all Brahminical men, who is the well-wisher of cows and brahmanas, and who is always befitting and benefiting the whole world. I offer my repeated obeisances to the personality of Godhead, known as Krishna and Govinda. This quotation is from the Vishnu Purana 1.19.65. Jayati Jayati Devo Devaki Nandano Sao Jayati Jayati Krishno Vrishni Vamsa Pradi Paha Jayati Jayati Megha Shamala Kumalango Jayati Jayati Purvi Bara Naso 
Mukunda. All glories unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is known as the Son of Devaki. All glories to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is known as the Light of the Dynasty of Vishnu. All glories to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, whose bodily luster is like that of a new cloud, and whose body is as soft as a lotus flower. All glories to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who appeared on this planet to deliver the world from the burden of demons, and who can offer liberation to everyone. This verse is from the Mukunda Mala. Jayati Janan Yivaso Yivaki Janma Vado Yadu Vara Purishat Vair Dwarvir Asyan Adharmam Stira Chara Vrajina Gna Sushmita Sri Mukena Rajapura Van Vanitanam Dardhayan Tamadevam Lord Sri Krishna is he who is known as Jnana Nivasa, the ultimate resort of all living entities, and who is also known as Devaki Nandana or Yashoda Nandana, the son of Devaki and Yashoda. He is the god of the Yadu dynasty, and with his mighty arms he kills everything inauspicious, as well as every man who is impious. By his presence he destroys all things inauspicious for living entities, moving and inert. His blissful smiling face always increases the lusty desires of the gopis of Vrindavan. May he be all glorious and happy. This is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam 10.90.48. Natam vipro na cha nara patir na pi vashyo na sudro naham varni na cha grudha patir no vanasto yatirva kintu prodyan nikila paramananda purna murtha vider topi batur pada kamalayor dasa dasa nu dala dasu nu dasa I am not a Brahmana, I am not a Kshatriya, I am not a Vaishya or a Sudra, nor am I a Brahmachari, a householder, a Vanaprastha or a Sannyasi. I identify myself only as the servant of the servant of the servant of the lotus feet of Lord Sri Krishna, the maintainer of the gopis. He is like an ocean of nectar and he is the cause of universal transcendental bliss. He is always existing with brilliance. This is a verse. Uh, this is verse 74 from the Padyavali, an anthology of verses compiled by Srila Rupa Goswami. Eighty-one. Etapari purnara pikarila pranama yodahate bhakti gana pande bhagavan. Having recited all these verses from scripture, the Lord again offered his obeisances and all the devotees with folded hands also offered prayers to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Eighty-two. Udanda Nutya Prabhu Kariya Hunkara Chakra Brahmi Brahmi Yate Alata Akara when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced and jumped high, roaring like thunder and moving in a circle like a wheel, he appeared like a circling firebrand. Purport. The burning cinder of a fire, of a firebrand, is whirled about very swiftly. It gives the appearance of a circle of fire. This is called Alata Akara or Alata Chakra, a fire circle. This whole circle is not actually made of fire, but is a single fire in motion. Similarly, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a single personality, but when he danced and jumped high in a circle, he appeared like Alata Chakra. 
83. Rache Prabhura Yahan Yanha Pade Pada Tala Sashagara Sashala Mahi Kare Tala Mala Wherever Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stepped while dancing, the whole earth with its hills and seas appeared to tilt. Eighty four Stambas Veda Pulakasru Kampa Vivarnya Nanaba Vevi Vasata Garva Harsha Dainya. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced, he displayed various blissful transcendental changes in his body. Sometimes he appeared as though stunned. Sometimes the hairs of his body stood on end. Sometimes he perspired cried, trembled, and changed color. And sometimes he exhibited symptoms of helplessness, pride, exuberance, and humility. 85. Achada kana pade bhumegadi yaya suvarna parvata yaiche when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fell down with a crash while dancing, he would roll on the ground. At such times, it appeared that a golden mountain was rolling on the ground. 86. Nityananda Prabhu Dui Hatha Prasiriya Prabhure Dari Te Chahe Asa Pasa Dhana. Nityananda Prabhu would stretch out his hands, uh, stretch out his two hands, and try to catch the Lord when he was running here and there. 87. Prabhu Pache Bhule Acharya Kariya Hunkara. Hari Bola Hari Bola. Vale bara bara. Advaita Acharya would walk behind the Lord and loudly chant, Haribo, Haribo, again and again. Haribo. 88. Loka niva rite haila tina mandala. Pratama mandale nitya nanda mahabala. Just to check the crowds from coming too near the Lord, the devotees formed three circles. The first circle was guided by Nityananda Prabhu, who was Balaram himself, the possessor of great strength. 89. <laughs> All the devotees headed by Kashishvara and Govinda linked hands and formed a second circle around the Lord. 90. Vahire Prata Parudra Vana Patragana Mandala Hana Kari Loka Nivarana. Maharaj Prapta Parudra and his personal assistants formed a third circle around the two inner circles just to check the crowds from coming too near. 91. Hari Chandan Niras Gande Hasta Alambiya Prabhura Nritya Deke Raja Avistahana. With his hands on the shoulders of Hari Chandana, King Prapta Parudra could see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu dancing, and the king felt great ecstasy. 92. Hena Kale Srinivasa Prima Vista Mana Rajara Age Rahi Deke Prabhura Martana. While the king beheld the dancing, Sri Vastakur standing in front of him became ecstatic as he saw the dancing of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 93. Rajara Age Hari Chandana. Deke Kahe, Aoe Kapasa. 
Seeing Srivas Thakur standing before the king, Hari Chandana touched Srivas with his hand and requested him to step aside. Ninety-four. Absorbed in watching Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu dance, Sri Vas Thakur could not understand why he was being touched and pushed. After he was pushed again and again, he became angry. Ninety-five. Chapada Maria Tare Karla Nibarana Chapada Kana Kruta Haila Hari Chandana Srivastakur slapped Hari Chandana to stop him from pushing him. In turn, this made Hari Chandana angry. 96. Krudhahana Tanre Kichu Kahe Bali Bare Apani Prata Parudra as the angered Hari Chandana was about to speak to Srivas Thakur, Pratha Parudra Maharaj personally stopped him. 97. King Prata Parudra said, You are very fortunate, for you have been graced by the touch of Srivas Thakur. I am not so fortunate. You should feel obliged to him. 98. Everyone was astonished by the dancing of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And even Lord Jagnath became extremely happy to see him. 99. The car came to a complete standstill and remained immobile while Lord Jagnath, with unblinking eyes, watched the dancing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One hundred. Subhadra Balam Balaramera Hurdaye Ulasa Murjade Kidu Vijanera Sri Mukete Hasa. The goddess of fortune, Subhadra, and Lord Balaram both felt great happiness and ecstasy within their hearts. Indeed, they were seen smiling at the dancing. One oh one. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced and jumped high, eight wonderful transformations indicative of divine ecstasy were seen in his body. All these symptoms were visible simultaneously. 102. Mamsavrana samaroma vrinda pula kita simulira vrikshayena kantaka vishtita. His skin erupted with goose pimples, and the hairs of his body stood on end. His body resembled the simuli, silk cotton tree, and all covered with thorns. 103. Indeed, the people became afraid just to see his teeth chatter, and they even thought that his teeth would fall out. 104. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's whole body flowed with perspiration and at the same time oozed blood. He made the sound Jaja Gaga, Jaja Gaga, and the voice choked with ecstasy. 
jala yantra dara yaiche ya he asru jala asa pase loka yata vijila sakala Tears came forcefully from the eyes of the Lord as if from a syringe, and all the people surrounding him became wet. One oh six. Deha kanti gora varna de kiya aruna kabu kanti de kiyena malika pushpa sama. Translation. Everyone saw the complexion of his body change from white to pink, so that his luster resembled that of the Malika flower. Kabu stamba, kabu prabu, bumite lotaya, sushka kasta samapara, hasta na chalaya. Translation. Sometimes he appeared stunned and sometimes he rolled on the ground. Indeed, sometimes his legs and hands became as hard as dry wood and he did not move. One oh eight Kabu Bume Pade Kabu Svasahaya Hina Yahade Kibaka Ganera Banahaya China. When the Lord fell to the ground, sometimes his breathing almost stopped. When the devotees saw this, their lives also became very feeble. One oh nine. Kabu netre nasaya jala muke pade pena amrutera dara chandra imbe vahe yena. Water flowed from his eyes and sometimes through his nostrils, and foam fell from his mouth. These flowings appeared to be torrents of nectar descending from the moon. 110. Se yi pena lana subha nanda kaila pana. Krishna prema rasika teno maha bhajavan. The foam that fell from the mouth of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was taken and drunk by Subhanananda because he was very fortunate and expert in relishing the mellow of ecstatic love of Krishna. 111. Ehi mata tandava nritya kaila kata chana baba vishesha prabhura pravishila mana. After Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had performed his devastating dance for some time, his mind entered his mind entered into a mood of ecstatic love. 112. After abandoning the dancing, the Lord ordered Swarup Damodar to sing. Understanding his mind, Swarup Damodar began to sing as follows. 113. Seita Painu Yahalagi Madana Dahane Juri Genu. Now I have gained the Lord of my life, in the absence of whom I was being burdened by Cupid and was withering away. Purport This song refers to Srimati Radharani's meeting with Krishna at the holy place of Kurukshetra, where Lord Sri Krishna and his brother and sister came to visit when there was a solar eclipse. It is a song of separation from Krishna. 
When Radharani met Krishna at Kurukshetra, he remembered his intimate association in Vrindavan, and she thought, now I have gained the Lord of my life. In his absence, I was being burned by the arrow of Cupid, and thus I was withering away. Now I have my life again. One fourteen. Eduya Uchaya Svare Jaya Damodara Anande Marhuda Nritya Karena Isvara When this refrain was loudly sung by Sarup Damodar, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again began rhythmically dancing in transcendental bliss. 115 Dire Dire Jagannatha Karena Gamana the car of Lord Jagannath began to move slowly while the son of Mother Sachi went ahead and danced in front. 116. Jagannate netradiya sabena se gaya kirtaniya sahaprabhu pache pache yaya. While dancing and singing, all the devotees in front of Lord Jagannath kept their eyes on him. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then went to the end of the procession with the Sankirtana performers. 117. Jagannate Magna Prabhura Nayana Hridaya Sri Hasta Yuge Kare Gitera Abhinaya His eyes and mind fully absorbed in Lord Jagannath, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to play the drama of the song with his two arms. 118. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was dramatically enacting the song, he would sometimes fall behind in the procession. At such times, Lord Jagannath would come to a standstill. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again went forward, Lord Jagannath's car would slowly start again. Nine, uh, 119. <laughs> Thus, there was a sort of competition between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Jagannath in seeing who would lead. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so strong that he made Lord Jagannath wait in his car. Purport. In this Anubhasya, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur describes the ecstasy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as follows. After giving up the company of the gopis in Vrindavan, Sri Krishna, the son of Maharaj Nanda, engaged in his pastimes at Dwarka. When Krishna went to Kurukshetra with his brother and sister and others from Dwarka, he again met the inhabitants of Vrindavan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha Bhava Dyuti Suvalita, that is, Krishna himself assuming the part of Srimati Radharani. in order to understand Krishna. Lord Jagannath Deva is Krishna and Sri Chaitanya, uh, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Sri Mati Radharani. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's leading Lord Jagannath toward the Gundicha temple corresponded to Sri Mati Radharani's leading Krishna toward Vrindavan. Sri Chetra Jagannath Puri was taken as the kingdom of Devaraka, the place where Krishna enjoys the supreme opulence. But he was being led by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Vrindavan. The simple village where all the inhabitants are filled with ecstatic love for Krishna. Sri Kshetra is a place of Aishvarya Lila, just as Vrindavan is the place of Madhurya Lila. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's following at the rear of the Ratha indicated that Lord Jagannath Krishna was forgetting 
the inhabitants of Vrindavan. Although Krishna neglected the inhabitants of Vrindavan, he could not forget them. Thus, in his opulent Ratha Yatra, he was returning to Vrindavan. In the role of Srimati Radharani, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was examining whether the Lord still remembered the inhabitants of Vrindavan. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fell behind the Ratha car, Jagannathiv, Krishna himself, understood the mind of Srimati Radharani. Therefore, Jagannath sometimes fell behind the dancing of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to indicate to Srimati Radharani that he had not forgotten. Thus, Lord Jagannath would stop the forward march of the Ratha and wait at a standstill. In this way, Lord Jagannath agreed that without the ecstasy of Srimati Radharani, he could not feel satisfied. While Jagannath was thus waiting, Gaurasundara, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in his ecstasy of Srimati Radharani, immediately came forward to Krishna. At such times, Lord Jagannath would proceed ahead very slowly. These competitive exchanges were all a part of the love affair between Krishna and Srimati Radharani. And that competition between Lord Chaitanya, uh, Lord Chaitanya's ecstasy for Jagannath and Jagannath's ecstasy for Srimati Radharani, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu emerged successfully. One twenty. Nachite nachite prabura haila babantara astatuli shloka pare kari uchai svara. While Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was dancing, his ecstasy changed. Raising his two arms, he began to recite the following verse in a loud voice. One twenty one. Ya komara hara sa eva hi varas ta eva chaitra shaspas te kon milita balati surabaya padha karam vanila sa chaibasmi tatapi tatra surata ya para lula virhau reva rodhasi vetasi taru kale cheta sanu that very personality who stole away my heart during my youth is now again my master. These are the same moonlit nights of the month of Chaitra. The same fragrance of Malati flowers is there, and the same sweet breezes are blowing from the Kandamba forest. In our intimate relationship, I am also the same lover, yet still my mind is not happy here. I am eager to go back to that place on the bank of the Reva under the Vatasi tree. That is my desire. This, appear, this verse appears in the Padyavali 386. 122. Eish loka mahaprabhu pade bara bara Svarupa vina artha keha najane ihara this verse was recited by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again and again. But for Swarup Damodar, no one could understand its meaning. 123. Eishlokarta Purve Kariya Chivyakyana Shlokera Bhavarta Kari Sanchepe Akyana I have already explained this verse. Now I shall simply describe it in brief. Purport. In this connection, Simaj Halila, chapter 1, verses 53, 77 through 80, and 82 through 84. 124. Purve yaiche kuru chetre sabagopi gana Krishnera darashana pana anandite mana Formerly, all the gopis of Vrindavan were very pleased when they met with Krishna in the holy place of Guru Ksetra. 125. Jagannatha Deki Prabhura Sebhava Utila 
Sehi Baba Vista Hana, Duya Gao Yaila. Similarly, after seeing Lord Jagannath, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu awoke with the ecstasy of the gopis. Being absorbed in this ecstasy, he asked for Rup Damodar to sing the refrain. 126. Avasesha Radha Krishna Kareni Vedana Sei Tumi Sei Ami Sei Nava Sangam Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spoke thus to Lord Jagannath. You are the same Krishna and I am the same Radharani. We are meeting again in the same way that we met in the beginning of our lives. One twenty seven Tatapi Amara Mana Hare Vrindavana Vrindavane Udaya Karo Apana Charana. Although we are both the same, my mind is still attracted to Vrindavan Dham. I wish that you will please again appear with your lotus feet in Vrindavan. 120. In Kurukshetra, there are crowds of people, elephants, and horses, and also the rattling of chariots. But in Vrindavan, there are flower gardens, and the humming of the bees and the chirping of the birds can be heard. 129. Ihan Raja Vesha Sange Sabha Chaitriya Gana Tahan Gopa Vesha Sange Urali Vadana Here at Kurukshetra, you are dressed like a royal prince accompanied by great warriors, but in Vrindavan, you appear just like an ordinary cowherd boy accompanied only by your beautiful flute. 130. Raja Tomara Sange, Ye Isukas Padana, Se Isukasa Mudrera, Ihanahi Ekakana. Here, there is not even a drop of the ocean of transcendental happiness that I enjoyed with you in Vrindavan. 131. Amalana Punalila Karaha Vrindavan. I therefore request you to come to Vrindavan and enjoy pastimes with me. If you do so, my ambition will be fulfilled. 132. I have already described in brief Srimati Radharani's statements from Srimad Bhagavatam. 133. Sei Baba Vesha Prabhu Padeyara Shloka Sei Saba Shloka Rata Nahi Buje Loka in that ecstatic mood, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recited many other verses, but people in general could not understand their meaning. 130. Thus ends our reading for today. All glories to Sri Pad Bhakti Madhavapur Maharaj Ki Jai. All glories to Om Vishnu Pad Srila Bhakti Nirmalachari Maharaj Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. Thank you for all that